Hey boys, it's Armnan. Today we're gonna to be touring every single garage that I have in Grand Theft Auto Online. This video is gonna take a very long time to get through because I must have, I don't even know if I can estimate the amount of value of my cars. I wanna say, I wanna say more than $500 million. I don't know for sure. If somebody wants to go through painstakingly and add this up, be my absolute guest. I'm not going to talk about every single car that I have because literally this video will be like three hours long. We're going to kind of breeze over some of them. I'm going to show you guys all of them. I'm going to talk about a few of them. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off in the agency since this is where my spawn location is. And I also want you guys to keep in mind this is only on my PC character. All right, so starting off, we have the Meibatsu monstrosity in my agency right there. Uh, that's a pretty recent customization. This is my first floor here. Uh, we get the STX GP1. We got the Scramjet, the Furia, the XLS. That's one of my favorite cars. Uh, NPC and I used to have twin XLSs. Uh, if you guys are familiar with NPC from my channel, uh, or you guys know him some other way, we both have twin XLSs. Uh, this is one of my many Bravado Buffalo STXs. That is not the that is not the last one you will see. Uh, there's in fact two in this garage, literally. So that's you know. Uh, Walton L35, Anis LG RH8. We got the Grotty Cheetah, one of my favorite cars in the entire game. I love that thing. Of course, the Ocelot Virtue as well. Down on the bottom floor, we have the Stinger TT, the Meibatsu Penumbra FF from a recent customization battle. Schlagen GT from a recent customization battle. We got the brand new Bravado Gauntlet, or sorry, the Bravado Hot Ring Hellfire. Uh, we have my Obey 8F Drafter here. Really like that customization. Got the Adder, my favorite car in the game. Uh, not my favorite customization I've ever done of it. I have another Adder somewhere. We'll see it later. Um, but yeah, Dubachi Spectre. We got the Jester Classic. And we have the Enos Jubilee and then the Power Surge. Oh, that's Franklin's. It's not even It's not even mine. Next up, we have my Hangman Avenue Garage. This is one of my favorite properties in GTA. I love this house. And this garage is, I don't know what this is doing in here. That does not fit with the theme of this garage. Uh, this is my Mafia Garage. I have the Enos Cognoscenti 55 right here. I have the Gallivander Baller. That's just one of the ones you steal off the street. The Granger 3600 LX, of course, the Dungeon Root Landstalker XL, and the Enos Deity here, which I think looks absolutely phenomenal. I love the lighting in this garage. That's why I have my Mafia cars in here. I think it looks super sick. And uh, of course, this is a Zirconium Stratum. Next up, we have 2862 some road i'm not <laughs> i'm not really sure uh we're gonna hop in here uh this garage is just kind of filled with random stuff uh, obviously this is a enos paragon r right here uh, we have an, an omni egt one of my many omni egts bravado greenwood we got the banshee right here we got the banshee 900 r right here as well lm87 we got a kanjo sj here that is super ugly i just want to say that the classy draugr uh we have the imponte ruiner zz8 right here as well and of course my anis lg retro custom from the customization battle that npc and twingo and i did on this car next garage up here on the hill and in here we have quite a few different vehicles we have the progen tally gtb custom we have an enos Cognoscenti Cabrio. Very ugly car, but I do have one. We have the Lampadaddy uh, Furore GT right here. The Hijack Chameleon. We have the Albany VSTR right here. We have a Bestia GTS. Uh, that's one of my many VSTRs, by the way. A Rune Zaba. I don't think I've ever driven this, uh, except for maybe in one top 10 video, I think. Uh, an Obey Ricardo. One of the best free SUVs you can get in the entire game, for sure. And of course, an Ocelot Jugular. Uh, that's it for this garage, on to the next one. All right, and I have two houses right beside each other here, so let's hop into the first one. This is my sports car garage. I do happen to actually know that some of my garages are actually organized. Right here, we have a Cockette D10. This is probably my favorite Cockette D10 customization I've done, I think. Here is, of course, my Obey 10F wide body, my Grotti Italia GTO, one of my like three or four that I have. Vista Comet SR, one of my maybe two that I have, I think. An SM722, really cool car. I actually like that thing a lot. Uh, we have a Comet S2 right here as well. We have the Lampadaddy Corsita right here. 
Ocelot Locust, one of my favorite cars in the entire game. I love the Ocelot Locust. It is really underrated. Uh, here we have a Lampadetti Komoda as well. This is one of my favorite customizations I've ever done on this car. I think it looks really good. Very happy with that. And a Grotti Itali RSX, also really happy with that. I think that's the best RSX uh, customization. Ooh, actually, it's not. My customization battle RSX is my favorite one of them all. Uh, but this is one of my uh, one of my few of those that I have. Um, I, I like it. It's pretty good. And right next door to my last garage, right here, we have an Anis S80RR, which is, of course, a removed vehicle, sadly. We have a Declassy Impaler on the left here. Interesting. Uh, Ocelot Pariah, that's... I think my only Ocelot Pariah. I'm not a super huge fan of this. Actually, no, I have one from a Top Gear video, actually. Uh, Ocelot Penetrator. Hard to make that card look good, for sure. Uh, Progen T20. This is one of my two of those that I have. Vapid FMJ. Another removed vehicle, sadly. That is tragic. The FMJ is a really cool car, actually. Uh, another Cockett D10 right next door to where my other one is. Of course. Everyone knows, a can of Seminole. Uh, this is from the thirty thousand, no, fifty thousand dollar off-road challenge uh, Top Gear video that NPC and Twingo and I did. This is another Grotti Italia GTO of mine. This is my favorite Italia GTO I've ever made. Shout out to you guys for voting for this one in the uh, Italia GTO customization battle. You were able to make me. Uh, be able to keep this car so thank you very much for that i love that car i love how it looks so much it is so awesome of course i have a classy lifeguard in here uh you can keep these you can get them in your garage i believe twingo actually just did a video about that pretty recently so if you want to know more check that out for sure next up we're at my arcade let's see what i have in here i haven't been to this garage in a while i won't lie i don't even know what's in here uh another obey omni egt in here what color is that i literally don't even recognize that car i is this mine what color is this i genuinely don't even think that's my car i i don't remember that at all um i have a declassy yosemite uh, drift yosemite right here i have a declassy impaler that i've never customized a declassy yosemite that i've also never customized. A Progen GP1 though, uh, that I bought when it was available in the car meet, I wanna say. Uh, Vapid Radius, oh, I know exactly what that is. I used to have a friend who drove something very similar to that. We have a Vapid Desert Raid. We have a Karen Futo, a Maxwell Vagrant, and a Volcar Ingot. This is probably the weirdest garage so far. I, I wanna get out of here, honestly. I What is, hang on, I, I... I want to take this. I want to take this car outside. I need to know what is this car? What is this? A cream or a bleached brown or something? I don't remember this car. That is so weird. I have no recollection of this thing. I customize a lot of cars on the channel, so it, I, I mean, I'm not exactly surprised that I'm forgetting one, but. Yeah, that's that's weird. Uh, now for my 50 car garage. This is, oh my god. I filled this up so fast. It, it was ridiculous. Um, okay, for the level one, we have a Furia from the customization battle. I have a Declassy Vigoro ZX right here as well. A Dominator ASP. I have an Obey 10F. Uh, this is my RSX that I think is the best looking RSX I've ever made. Uh, that is a Trufade Thrax from a customization battle uh, that I was supposed to sell, but I was unable to sell it. So I'm not really sure how I ended up with it. It's here for sure. I'll be honest. I didn't sell it, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's here. You know what? Oh my god, I think I just realized what happened. Usually if I can't sell a car in a customization battle for whatever reason, I will replace a Thrax. And I think I probably replaced my other Thrax instead of this one. So that's that, I guess. Uh, this is a Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire from the customization battle, if I'm not mistaken. This is a Karen Sultan RS from another customization battle. Uh, oh, this is my garage of customization battle cars. I'm so stupid. How did it take me that long to realize that? Okay, yeah, these are all customization battle cars um, that I've either won the battle or came second place uh, with. So yeah, th this is my victory garage, I guess, is what we can consider this. Okay, and in here is my race car uh, themed garage. So these are all my race cars. Uh, right here we have a Karen Previon. We have an Obey Tailgater S here. We have my Progen Emerus. This is my favorite Emerus I've ever made for sure. Right here we have a Torero XO. We have a Dinka Jester R r right here we have a benefactor schlagen gt i love that livery on that car for sure uh, we have a fister growler we have a dominator asp an ubermark cypher which i think looks 
phenomenal. And of course, a, another Grotti Italia GTO. I think that's three that we've uh, that we've seen so far. Uh, so yeah, this is my race car garage. Uh, these are all cars that I use to race or that are race car themed. Uh, I think my favorite car in here, hmm, it might be the Schlagen or the Cypher or the Amaris. It's one of the three. I do love the Tailgater S. I'm very happy with all those and the Jester RR actually. I really like that. But my, my car that's won me the most races in here is definitely the Italia GTO 100%. And on to level three, we have some random ass cars in here. I have no idea what half these are. Uh, this is a Volcar Nebula Turbo. We have a Hijack Rustin in here. I actually recently customized that. I'm pretty sure. I have a Willard Eudora, a Stromberg. Uh, I have the Pegasi Ignis from the last customization battle. I have a Karen Sultan. I have a Lampedetti Tagon in here, which is a phenomenal car. I love that thing. Uh, Obey Tailgater from the first Top Gear challenge that we ever did on GTA. So that's cool. Uh, we have the Karen Hot Ring Everon right here, and of course, an Anis RE7B. So this garage is very lackluster. Definitely going to need to do some reorganizing in here. I don't know how these cars end up here, but they definitely did. So there you go. Here on level four, we have another <laughs> very random assortment of cars. Uh, we have a Karen Boar right here, uh, which is pretty cool. Pretty neat car. Benefactor Schlagen GT. Again, I think that's the third one we've seen so far. Uh, Vapid Dominator, this is from the $50,000 car challenge, maybe $30,000, I can't remember, $100,000 car, I can't remember, so, a recent Top Gear challenge, relatively recent, uh, Tundra Panthea right here, a Pegasi Zaruso right there, a Karen Dilettante here from, uh, from one of the first manhunts ever, uh, Ubermacht Rebla GTS from a Top Gear challenge, we have an Ubermacht Oracle here, we have a Benefactor dubs the two right here, and we have an Obey 8F Drafter, the second one um, that we've seen so far. This garage is relatively random, uh, absolutely no consistency in here, no idea how these cars ended up here, they just did, so that's, that's that, for sure. All right, and in the final garage, we actually have a theme for this one, this is an Ubermacht garage. Uh, so right here, we have the Ubermacht Reinhardt, followed by a Ubermacht Oracle, which we just saw another one of those upstairs. A Ubermacht Sentinel Classic, a regular Sentinel, a Sentinel Classic Wide Body, which I think this thing looks absolutely awesome. I love the Sentinel Classic Wide Body, such a cool car. Uh, we have an Ubermacht Zion or Zeon, a Zeon Classic. We have an Ubermacht Rebla GTS, the second one of the video, another Cypher as well, and of course, an Ubermacht SC1, which is a removed vehicle now, which is sad. Uh, I actually am pretty happy with my Ubermacht SC1 customization. As far as as far as customizations on this car go, I feel like this is actually a pretty good one. I'm kind of happy with it. This Cypher, it's it's pretty cool. Not not too uh, displeased with that. Honestly, all the cars in here look decent, except for maybe the Zion Classic. I customized that a long time ago, and. Uh, not not my favorite choice ever, that's for sure. Inside of my casino penthouse garage, we have quite a few different vehicles. These sort of almost have a theme-ish. Uh, starting it off, we of course have the Lampadati Tropos Rally here. Uh, definitely a phenomenal car in GTA for sure. A Dubachi Masacro, one of my favorite cars in the entire game of all time. Like, it looks so good. It's just such a good looking car. We have a Fister Neon right here. We have an Obey Tailgater S sitting in the corner. We have a Dubachi Spectre Custom right here. A Ocelot Ardent right here. Very underrated car, very cool car. Um, I think that I actually customized this for a video, but I'm pretty sure I didn't hit the record button or my mic was muted or something, so I ended up scrapping it, but I love the Ardent. Uh, over here in the corner, we have a Grotti Carbon Azair, one of the, like, another completely phenomenal car, an original car from uh, when GTA 5 released. Awesome vehicle, convertible, you know, pretty sweet. Randomly a Declassy Rancher XL in here. <laughs> I don't know how that got here. Uh, we also have a Coil Raiden right here as well. All of these cars are pretty awesome, I have to say. I do have an extra spot in here, so I need to keep that in mind next time I uh, next time I need a spot for a vehicle for sure. All right, and next up, we are in my auto shop, and this contains a lot of Top Gear Challenge vehicles. So starting off, we have the Obey 9F, uh, which is an original car from GTA Online and GTA 5 when it initially released. That won me my first Top Gear Challenge. 
We also have the Pegasi Osiris right here. Phenomenal looking car. I'm super happy with this customization. In this lighting, it looks absolutely insane too. We have the Fister Comet SR next up, and then the Pegasi Infernus right here in the corner. Then the Enus Paragon R. Uh, this is probably my favorite Enus Paragon R customization I've ever done. It looks so good. Over here, we have the Panaud Le Carus, a Pegasi Zentorno, an Ocelot Swinger, another Benefactor Schlagen GT. I think that's number four. Uh, we also have an Ocelot Pariah right here. I think this is my best looking Ocelot Pariah as well. Um, and that pretty much concludes my auto shop. I... I got some I got some really nice cars in here, I have to say. There's there's some of my favorites in here, honestly. In here we have my Anis Remus from the recent customization battle. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen that, well that's a spoiler, I guess. That's what it looked like. Uh, so that's my car in my service entrance for the time being. Heading down to level one of my nightclub garage, we of course have the Pounder Custom as well as the Speedo Custom. Nothing really special to see here. I'm not even gonna go down to these two vehicles because they're relatively boring and it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, it, you will notice I don't have a mule. That's because if you have the pounder and the speedo, there's no need for a mule. You will never have to use the mule for a sail mission. Uh, so if you don't have any of the vehicles yet, only buy the pounder and the speedo. Don't buy the mule, it's the slowest of the bunch and uh, you can avoid that completely. All right, and heading down to level two of my nightclub garage, we have... Uh, relatively random assortment of vehicles. We have a Lampadetti Komoda to start us off. My second Lampadetti Komoda of this so far. We also have an Ubermacht Cypher right here. Uh, my third one so far, I think. We have a Gallivanter Baller off the street. This one's in Cabernet Red uh, instead of my Mafia Garage one that's in black. We have an Enos Windsor drop next up, followed by a Benefactor Shafter V12, a Vapid Saddler, randomly. We also have a Canis Mesa right here as well, followed by an Enos Super Diamond. Pretty cool car. Uh, definitely when this gets added back into the game, you should buy one. Uh, it was available like last week, so it's I, who knows if it'll ever come back into the game, but pretty awesome car. We also have an Obey Tailgater right here and another Benefactor Shafter V12. And that's not the last Shafter V12 you're going to see because I, I think I have four of them. So yeah, uh, get get ready for that. But yeah, this is my, uh, my level two nightclub garage. And for the next level in my nightclub garage, we have a Benefactor Schwarzer to start things off, followed by an Insurgent uh, in red, which is the one that I use for the manhunts a lot of the time. We also have a Declassy Granger 3500 right here, a Benefactor Serrano, uh, which is actually a really cool car. Uh, a lot of people don't know that this thing actually does have some customization. Uh, as you can probably tell, this doesn't look like any Serrano you've ever seen on the streets of GTA, and that's because I've customized it pretty heavily. Uh, not that there's a lot you can do, but there's there's some things you can do for sure. We have a Lampadetti Felon, the four-door variant of it, which does have some customization options, which is pretty cool. It's a shame that the Felon GT doesn't have like anything you can do to it. That is kind of a, a crying shame. Uh, we have the Weenie Issy, which is for an upcoming manhunt that you guys are going to see in the future. We also have a BF Surfer. This is not the custom, this is just the regular BF Surfer. Right here we have an Imponte Phoenix as well, followed by a Karen Astorope of all cars. I have no idea why I have this thing. It might have been for a manhunt maybe, I don't even remember. And of course we have a Felon GT sitting right in front of my regular Lampadati Felon. So this garage is relatively boring, relatively uh, cheap cars, but still pretty neat I have to say. And for the final level of actual cars in my garage, this is my classic car garage. Starting things off, of course, we have the Fister Comet Retro Custom, followed by the Volcar Fajaloa, as well as a Trufade Z-Type, a Pagasi Monroe, a Grotti Turismo Classic, or actually a Grotti Cheetah Classic, rather, this is a great customization. I'm really happy with this one. Uh, NPC inspired this one for me. Uh, his car is the exact same, but the secondary color is red instead of ultra blue. I think this looks phenomenal. I'm very happy with this car. Over here, we have the Lampadetti Casco in the corner. We also have the Infernus Classic sitting right here. A Dubachi Rapid GT Classic as well. Very cool looking car, actually. Very neat. A very good driver's car, actually, as well. A Grotti Turismo Classic, of course. And last but not least, the Benefactor Sterling GT. Uh, with some of the newer customization options that the car has had added to it uh, last summer with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. 
So this is my uh, sports classic garage. Definitely some pretty cool cars in here. And of course, last but not least in the nightclub, we have the Terabyte garage. Uh, this is my Terabyte. It might have an Oppressor Mark II in it. It might not. I can't remember if I got mad and sold it again or if I actually just have it in here now. I really can't remember. Let's find out. Uh, I do have it in here, and there's an Oppressor Mark II in here. I bought it before it was $6 million to $8 million, so uh, that, that was a bit of a steal. Now it, of course, costs that much, which is kind of insane to think about. And next up, we're in the MC Clubhouse, and this is where all of my motorcycles are stored. Uh, to start things off... I don't think this is mine. I think this is, oh, this is a customer's bike. Okay. Uh, to start things off, we have the Western Reaver, as well as the Nagasaki Shinobi. Uh, we have the Shitsu Hakuchu Drag, a Body 801 RR, followed by a Western Daemon, I think. Yes, not insured. I stole that thing. Uh, we have a Western Nightblade, one of the best looking motorcycles, honestly. I think that thing looks awesome. We have a Meibatsu Manchez Scout, a Western Garg... Oh, sorry, Cliffhanger not gargoyle uh, we also have the nagasaki bf 400 and the meibatsu sanchez uh, my bike garage is relatively boring i don't know i'm not super into motorcycles in gta or in real life so i don't know a whole lot about them uh, but these are my motorcycles for right now at least that are just in this garage next up we have a complete surprise garage i didn't know any of these cars were in here. I think this might have at some point been my racing garage, but obviously things have changed a little bit. Uh, starting off in the corner, we have the BF Club, the fastest compact car in the entire game for circuit racing. Uh, we have a Vapid Click, which is race spec. Uh, this was from when the Vapid Click was actually the fastest muscle car in the game for racing. It was really, really good. Uh, we have a Benefactor Krieger that I used for racing. NPC and I have identical Kriegers uh, for racing, so... That's what that is from. We have the Bean Machine. Uh, shout out to you if you remember my Bean Machine customization from a very, very long time ago. This is, of course, the Declassy Hot Ring Saber. In the corner, we have the Bravado Rumpo Custom. We've also got some room in here. That's good to know. Uh, this is a Karen Previon as well, a Lampinetti Cinquamila, and, of course, the Vapid Blade, which is a removed vehicle, sadly. Uh, but it is pretty awesome. It does handle super well. Uh, awesome car generally next up we're at my ceo office and uh this is gonna take a while for sure starting off on level one in my ceo office we have the dubachi champion followed by another grotty cheetah followed by another pagasi infernus an entity xf another pagasi terrero xo i think that's my third one we have another Banshee 900R in here as well. Uh, these are all some pretty awesome cars. I love the XF, I love the Torero, I love the Cheetah. Those are like my three favorites on this floor for sure. Oh, another Pagasi Osiris. We have my original Pagasi Ignis from the day that it came out. Uh, this is kind of what I was gonna go for for the customization battle, but I didn't want to do an exact uh, copy of it, so I kind of changed it up a little bit. We have a Benefactor Krieger here in olive green with gold or bronze wheels. We have a Grotty Vision. I have had this for a very long time, and I don't really remember it very well. We have a Fister 811. Another Progen GP1. I think that I have three of these. I don't know how I ended up with three of them. And of course, we have another Grotty Furia as well. Uh, so this floor is relatively interesting. Um, I definitely need to sell some of these cars at some point, but I don't have the motivation to do it. Uh, this is my original adder in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I did get banned back in like 2016 or something for, I think, a money glitch. I can't really remember. So when I got back on, I decided to make my adder the exact same as it was on my previous character. This car means more to me than anything else in GTA Online, and uh, I, I absolutely love this car. It should probably be on the bottom floor of this garage, but it's up here for some reason. Uh, we have a Progen Emerus right here. We have a Trufade Thrax. That's good that I have this Thrax because I really do like it. We also have a Trufade Nero. We have a Pegasi Tempesta. Now, I based this off of TJ Hunt's Huracan wide body in real life, which he has since uh, sold to Whistlin Diesel, and Whistlin Diesel has changed the color of it. So maybe I should make an updated customization of that at some point. We also have an Osla XA21 up here. I think this is my only XA21, sadly. 
And of course, we have a Progen T20, my second Progen T20, I think that we've seen so far at least. Uh, this layer of my garage is probably my favorite of this entire one because I have the adder up here and that's really all that matters to me. The Thrax and the Nero are cool as well. The XA21's all right as well. Uh, but yeah, this definitely is my prob probably my favorite garage that I have in the entire game. Uh, but that's not to say we're anywhere close to done. We're probably about halfway done if that so let's go to garage 2 and in my garage 2 we have a lot of basic cars these are for hide and seek videos these are uh, some custom cars that i have for hide and seek videos they'll all have like really low-key sort of stealth upgrades on them uh, obviously the insurgent is not for hide and seek really uh, but these these cars right here are for hide and seek they're for hiding uh, from npc twingo and uh, and uncle slim uh, whenever we do hide and seek so uh, they've got some upgrades on them they got bulletproof tires stuff like that that they won't notice from a distance but they will help me out up here we have a benefactor schwarzer my second one so far that we've seen we have an obey 9f cabrio uh, very nice customization in my opinion we have a meibatsu penumbra which is kind of twinning the 9f cabrio we have another albany vstr which is similar to my uh, relatively new one that i just made we have an imponte ducadath right here we have an anis lg rh8 and another obey 9f right here pretty cool uh this layer of the garage it's it's okay the vstr is probably my favorite car at all those ones to be completely honest and up on the top floor we have another dubachi specter right here we also have a dominator gtx what a disappointing car it looks so cool it looks so awesome but it has engine resistance and it's uh, it's terrible as as a result of that so go figure we also have an oslo lynx sitting right here and right here we have a vapid oh sorry de classy weaponized tampa i could have sworn this is a vapid vehicle but we have a de classy weaponized tampa right here absolutely phenomenal car uh we have a deluxo and then another penumbra oddly and a sentinel with some of the new customization options that they added into the game uh, onto it. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that. That's this garage. Um, I, again, pretty random selection. I don't, I don't really remember why I did this, but I think I just needed storage. I think that was pre pretty much the, uh, the general consensus there. So yeah, that's my office garage floor number two. Let's go to number three. And on floor number three, we have quite a few different cars. We have a Albany Roosevelt Valor, we have a Benefactor Dubsta, and this is, this is I, I'm just going to say this right now, I have way too many Dubstas. It's hard to keep track of them all. This is one of them. Uh, we have a Dubachi 770 right here. We have a Pegasi Ignis. This is the one that I used in the best $3 million car challenge. Absolutely love the customization on that. Very happy with how it turned out. We have a Fister Comet S2 right here. And the Fister Comet Safari from the Rally Challenge as well. Up here on the second floor, we have Franklin's Buffalo S. We have another 9F in Ultra Blue. I've already got one of those. Oh, I think I bought this from Simeon's, actually. I totally did. I bought that from Simeon's. That's why that's there. Uh, we have a Benefactor Serrano. Not the Serrano, but the Serrano. So that's that. We have my Vigilante from the Manhunt videos. We have an Osla F620. We have a Dinka Varus for some reason. Another Benefactor Dubsta. I think that's the third one in my CEO garages that we've seen so far. So that's good. We're doing we're doing well on that. Let's go up to the third floor and see what we have waiting for us. We have a Enos Paragon R Armored. Rare car now. Um, not many people have these. You can get that from the casino for completing the missions there. We also have a Shyster Fuselade. Uh, I was going to use this for a manhunt. Still probably will at some point in the near future. We have a Balakan Prairie. We have a Vapid GB200. We have the Ubermox Sentinel Classic Widebody from the customization battle that we did recently. We have a Karen Futo and another Ubermox Sentinel randomly. So that's, I think, my third or fourth Sentinel that we've seen so far. If you include the classics, that's a lot that we've seen. I think that's probably five or six, something like that. Uh, so that's it for my CEO office garages. We've only got, like, another maybe ten to go. In my next garage, we have a Vapid Blade, followed by a Vapid Contender, followed by a Vapid Bobcat XL, followed by a Vapid Caracara 4x4, followed by an Emperor Vector, why? Followed by a Bravado Bison and a Vapid Guardian, as well as a Karen Everon. Very cool truck, by the way. Just going to say that right now. Followed by a Vapid Sand King, XL, by the way. 
and of course a Benefactor Dubsta 6x6 as well. Very random garage, uh, mostly trucks, so I feel like that's what the theme was for sure until I added some random cars in here, so who knows why I did that. And across the street we have some more off-road vehicles, followed by a Benefactor uh, Schwarzer. I think this is from the customization battle we did on the Schwarzer semi-recently. I also have my original OG Canna Seminole in here as well, the famed Canna Seminole, God bless. We also have a Karen Sultan RS Classic in here. Uh, very cool car. This is my sort of rally build of it. Um, I do like that a lot. Over here we have a Karen BJ XL, a surprising car uh, that actually has some customization, which is pretty neat. We have an Anis Helion right here, as well as a Canis Camacho, followed by a Canis Mesa, and then of course a Vapid Caracara 4x4, another one of those followed by the Vapid Riata, and of course the Vapid Sand King XL, another one of those. Uh, so some, some nice cars in here, generally some off-road stuff, but for some reason a Schwarzer and a Karen Sultan Classic RS, or a Karen Sultan RS Classic. Good God, I'm getting tired already. Next up we have my Del Perro Heights Garage. Let's take a look in here. In here we have quite a few random vehicles. We have another Vapid Saddler for some reason. We have a Benefactor BR8, a Invitero Cockat, a Pegasi Zentorno, a Coil Cyclone, another Grotti Carbonizaire, an Enos Windsor, a Galavanter Baller ST in here. We have another Anis Helion. I think that I must have won that somehow because I don't remember that customization at all. And of course, we have a Pegasi Tempesta as well. So that's uh, another garage full of uh, very random vehicles. No idea. No idea. All right, and we're getting close to the end. Now we have my arena war garages. In my workshop level in my arena garage, we have, to start with, a Vapid Ellie. We have a Cerberus as well, which I completely forgot about. Uh, we also have a Granger 3600 LX. The reason this thing looks so basic is because I wanted it to look basic uh, for hide and seek, particularly to trick Uncle Slim because he doesn't really know the cars of GTA, so I thought I could get away with it, and it has bullet-resistant windows, so uh, that's why I have that. We also have a Cockett Classic. I must have won that from the podium in the LS car meet. We have an empty slot right there as well. I have a Declassy Mamba right here as well, one of my favorite cars. That's my dad's favorite car in real life as well, uh, in that exact color. That's why I have that vehicle. We also have a Vapid Dominator right here, as well as a Scarab Tank uh, from a Manhunt from quite a while ago. And we have a Shyster Deviant in here as well. So some pretty interesting cars in this one, that's for sure. And heading to level B1, we have my muscle car garage. Starting things off with a Bravado Buffalo STX. I think that's the third one we've seen so far. We have a Declassy Tulip right here. I love this customization. I'm very happy with how that turned out. A Imponte Beater Dukes right here with some turbos sticking out of the hood as you do. We have a Dominator GTT right here on the side. Over here we have a Declassy Saber Turbo right here. Pretty nice car actually, I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out. Over here we have a Gauntlet Classic. Uh, not a bad customization, not my favorite ever, but decent nonetheless. Another Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire right here, followed by a Declassy Vigoro ZX on this side, and then of course a Vapid Dominator ASP. Uh, love the Vapid Dominator ASP. Again, one of my favorite cars in the entire game. Uh, it's one of the best muscle cars for racing. Super good vehicle. Uh, the Gauntlet Hellfire, a lot of fun there as well. Figaro ZX, another really good car. All right, and in this last garage in the Arena War uh, building, we have a Meibatsu Penumbra FF. This is my JDM garage, and like I said in the Penumbra FF customization battle, if you guys saw that, I put it on every single one of them, that being the Sakura livery. I think it looks so good. Uh, we have the Imperator in here for a manhunt. Uh, I'm not looking forward to driving this thing after Twingo and NPC's recent experiences with them. You guys probably won't have seen that yet, uh, but in the coming manhunts, you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying. Over here we have an Emperor Vector, my second one so far that we've seen. An Anis Elegy Retro Custom on this side. Uh, I'm really happy with this customization. I actually really like how that turned out. I think it's super clean. Over here we have a ZR350. I based this off of TJ Hunt's RX-7 in real life uh, with the Midnight Purple wheels as well as the Midnight Purple secondary color. I think it looks really good. I'm very happy with how this car turned out. I love it. Over here we have an Anis Euros. 
Not my favorite customization ever, not my most proud customization. We have a Karen Sultan Classic on this side, sitting right beside a Karen Sultan RS. And then of course on this side of the garage, we have my Anis Remus, my original Anis Remus that I customized on the day that the Tuners DLC came out. Very happy with how this turned out as well. That's it for my arena garages, let's head outside. All right guys, in my SUV garage, we have an Enos Huntley S starting off on the right hand side and a Canis Seminole in ultra blue. We also have another Gallivanter Baller ST sitting on this side of the garage, followed by a Bravado Gressley and another Karen BJ XL. Right here we have a Benefactor Dubsta, and this is a Dubsta 2 because it has the black badging on it, as you guys can see, which is a pretty cool feature of the Dubsta 2. That's what makes it my favorite SUV in the game, next to the Canna Seminole, of course. We have a Dubachi Wagner in here uh, from my acceleration test video that I did recently. Wish that wasn't in here, it kind of totally ruins my SUV theme. Uh, we also have a Gallivanter Baller LE in here, as well as a Pegasi Tauros. This is my Tauros, I love this thing. One of my favorite SUVs as well. A Fister Astron right here as well. And uh, that is it, that is it for my SUV garage, um, minus the Dubachi Wagner that's sitting in there. Entering into my facility, this is where I keep most of my militarized vehicles. All right, here in my facility, we have the Schernebog to start things off. Uh, I do have a Schernebog. It is actually a pretty good vehicle. It's got the longest lock-on range of any missiles in GTA Online, which is pretty unique. Uh, so the Schernebog is an awesome vehicle. We have the Night Shark sitting right here. We also have an APC as well as a Barrage sitting beside it. You may notice a common theme with some of the vehicles in this, uh, in this garage. I do like a certain camo with a certain colorway and uh, I, I do think it looks really good, um, but yeah, you, you you will definitely notice the theme. We also have an RCV right here, which uh, that thing sucks. It's kind of a very regretful purchase of mine for sure. We have a thruster right here, which I've literally never used. Over here, we have a half track, which I have used a fair amount. We also have a second Night Shark in my current crew color, which is a minty sort of green. We also have a TM02 Kanjali right here, as well as an HVY Menacer followed by my favorite vehicle of the entire garage, my Insurgent Pickup Custom. I love the Insurgent Pickup Custom. It is my favorite vehicle in here by a long shot. I use it more than anything else in here as well. Um, I love the Insurgent Pickup Custom. I, I'm definitely personally biased towards it. Just such a great vehicle. I mean, if you got the heavy armor on it, your gunner on the top is so well protected. It seats nine players. Like what is not to like about the Insurgent Pickup Custom? It's phenomenal. It's just such a good vehicle, honestly. And last but not least, somehow I've managed to actually show you guys all of my vehicles in under an hour of recording. I don't know how this is possible, but I've managed to do it. Last stop is, of course, the hangar. And within my hangar currently, there's not much going on. Uh, we have a V65 Molotov sitting here on the side. We also have the brand new weaponized Kanata right here, as well as the Streamer 216. Uh, not a big fan of that plane. I actually need to sell that really fast. We also have an F-160 Raju right here, as well as the Avenger sitting in the hangar. I know that's super weird. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, they changed up the Avenger. They added some uh, some pilot-controlled weaponry to it, which is pretty unique. And uh, they made it so you can actually operate it from within your hangar, which is a pretty huge change. Let's head over to the uh, to the rearrangement panel over here and we'll take a look at some of my other aircraft that I have in the game. Uh, let's go to the storage. So we have a B-11 Strike Force. Um, I will just go ahead and throw that down right here. We also have a Akula, which I will throw down right here. We have one of my many, many Hydras. We'll put that right here at the very front. We'll also put the FH-1 Hunter up at, oh, we won't actually, I guess. Uh, let's replace the streamer with that actually. So we got the Akula. It's in the same camo that a lot of my vehicles in the facility were in. Here is my B-11 Strike Force as well. And of course my FH-1 Hunter. My Hydra is in my former crew color, which was this very, very, very bright red. Uh, so I've got that as well. So some some pretty decent vehicles in here for sure. I've got I've got pretty much all I could ask for um, as far as aircraft go. We also have a RM10 uh, Bombushka. We're going to go ahead and throw that down at the front here. Um, yep, that's what that looks like. I don't think I need to zoom in on that. We also have a Volatile, which I will put at the front here. Uh, I recently customized that as well. We have a Savage as well. So let's go ahead and throw that down. Might as well. Uh, I have a Pi Pyro as well, put that right there. Have a regular Kanata as well. So 
throw that down, I guess. Uh, we'll put the Raju back out just so I have it. I'll, I'll put away the Kanata, I guess. Uh, I also have a Rogue, which I will put somewhere. Can I put it right here? There we go. Got a Rogue right there. Uh, I have an Annihilator Stealth, which I haven't seen for a very long time, so I'll go ahead and throw that down. It's got the same, uh, same livery and color as the Akula and a lot of my vehicles from the facility. I have two Volatiles, I guess. I didn't even know that. I have a Tula, and then of course we have the Avenger as well. I have a lot of aircraft. I have more than I need for sure. I have multiples of some things, which is completely ridiculous. I don't know why I have multiples of things. Uh, but I, I sell these things all the time and buy different things for, you know, videos for you guys and stuff. So, yeah, I've got I've got a lot of different vehicles, guys. So, there you guys have it. That is it for my heavily requested entire garage tour in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you made it to the end of the video, I want you to comment the number 7 in the comments down below to let me know that you made it all the way to the end of the video. If people didn't make it to the end of the video, they're going to have absolutely no idea what you guys are talking about, but that's all the more power to us. Uh, so thank you guys so much for staying. If you made it right to the end, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you don't, of course. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.